This is a 5 minute video, on the Audiometer 800M software, you will be asked to select the operator. You can create more operators once in the menu. Click OK to get to the menu of the 800M. This is the home screen of the Audiometer 800M, which is a database for all of your patients. You can add, remove and edit patients up in the top left hand menu. There are a few different drop down menus, in which we will go through in this video. The patient menu is where you can create, modify and delete patients. We will walk you through on how to create a new patient. Select the sex and title of your patient, then add their surname, name and then their date of birth. These are mandatory for the audiometer, to register the patient in the database. Any additional information can be added to profession, medical and contact. Further notes can be added under the notes section. Click add new patient and they will be added to your database. Once added, you can see the patient in your database. The next menu tests is where you are able to conduct your hearing assessment and have a look at the history of examinations. The operator tab is where you can add new examiners and or modify other operators. Any extra details about your operators can be added in the right under identity and contact. The most important part of the menu is configurations. This menu is where you will be able to configure tests that you will be performing. The first tab in within the configuration menu is for automatic tests, in which you can adjust the duration of the played sound, the maximum response time or whether it is a fixed interval. You can also adjust it so it is a random interval. Minimum and maximum decibel level. To the very far right you have the frequencies in which you would like to test for, with the automatic Houston and Westlake tests. In the manual test tab you can once again adjust the frequencies. You can also adjust keyboard shortcuts for manual navigation. In the next tab over you can adjust how the patient is displayed. The audiometer level limit tab is where you can adjust maximum audio levels. Calculation is where you can manually adjust the formula. We recommend this for advanced users only. Once you have adjusted all of your settings click apply, then OK. Other options in configurations is the advanced tab which is for more complex audiometers. Printing is for where you want to print and other options. The database section is where you can import previous patient details. The question mark tab can be useful for users needing more information on the 800M and to access the user manual. The PDF contains the full service manual to the audiometer. This PDF is navigated via drop down menus on the left hand side. Off to the top right there is shortcut keys in which you can access the most vital menu settings here. Create a new patient. Modify patient details, start a new test and a history of the patient's tests. We will now demonstrate to you on how to run a test, which you can do either from the shortcut buttons or in the menu. Doing this will bring up the test panel, in which you will be able to see the results from the test. In the top left of this menu, the patient's details are displayed. The drop down menus for each test is where you adjust test parameters whether it is a Houston Westlake or normal test. The tone if it is pulsed or continuous, what type of scenario, starting frequency and which ear you would like to start with. Once you have adjusted these settings that are unique to automatic tests, you can hit test launch and it will begin the test. When the test is fully complete, click on the save button to update the patient's results to their profile. If you would like a physical copy of your results, you can print the results by clicking the print button down below. You will get a preview of the document with all notes and results on the page. Down the bottom on the PDF, there are two important results, PAM and IPA. PAM means average hearing loss and IPA is an early warning indication for hearing loss. You can then press print up in the top left corner, in which you can then select the printer you want to print to or you can generate a PDF. Once you have finished in this menu, and you would like to get back to the database screen, you can hit the quit button located down the bottom or the X in the top right hand corner. With the 800M you can also perform a manual test, in which you can pick which frequencies you would like to test. With both automatic and manual tests you can add notes about the patient, simply by clicking the notes button down below.